Fellas, if you've been watching the news lately, chances are you've come across Cheeseball Man, a man that ate over 700 cheese balls on April 27th at 3 p.m. on Union Square in New York City. This guy posted flyers all around New York City, dressed up in an orange ski mask and cape, and started eating in the middle of New York City while thousands of people watched him. But many people are wondering who this man is, leaving his identity secret and claiming only to be a 22-year-old man who recently graduated from NYU. Still, the internet wants to know who he is. And I have an answer. My investigation started when I first heard of Cheeseball Man, watching a bunch of clips and videos across several news stations, although most of the footage was the same and his identity still remained anonymous. Little did I know, he was actually posting TikToks on his very own account, showcasing some of the stuff that he was planning prior to the event. After the event, people really wanted to know who he was. Some people even DMing him privately, asking him to reveal himself, and even suing him, which is fucking insane. But after looking a little bit further, I realized this was none other than Anthpo. To give you a little bit of context, Anthpo is a YouTuber with over 1.7 million subscribers who quit approximately one year ago after graduating on May 14th, 2023. Since then, he's been planning a return on May 14th, 2024, exactly a year since he graduated. He hasn't really done much online and has kept his online presence to a minimum, but has still been popping up here and there and showing his fan base some sneak peeks as to what was to come on May 14th. To be honest, I didn't really expect this. I thought something of this scale was kind of insane, especially because this gathered thousands of people together and got on so many major news stations, especially from someone who said that they were going to quit the internet. At the same time, this isn't something new. If you're familiar with Anthpo, you know that he actually went as Tony P in an undercover YouTube class in order to conceal his identity and basically start from scratch for this whole YouTube class, just so people wouldn't know that he was actually a famous YouTuber. As Tony P, Anthpo appeared with a blonde wig glasses and a New York accent. Obviously, Tony P was not really much of a disguise. We could really tell it was Anthpo. The resemblance was pretty uncanny. Cheeseball Man, on the other hand, was a bit more of a stretch. His whole face was covered and we knew nothing aside from the color of his eyes, and that's about it. Until I came across one TikTok that he uploaded that showcased a tattoo on his waist, one that was very similar to the tattoo that he received after his 1 million subscriber special. Although the tattoo was not very visible and actually on the wrong side of his waist, I realized that there may have been a chance that this wasn't actually Anthpo. But my search didn't stop there. I searched through clips upon clips upon clips, most of them being news interviews and most of them being pretty short and concise. Of course, he was using a different voice, sounding kind of like an Eastern Canadian actually, not to copy his regular voice or Tony P. But it wasn't until I found an interview on YouTube that gave it all away. It wasn't until a video called Portrait of Cheeseball Man that I was able to unmask his true identity. In this 11 minute video, an interviewer by the name of Nikash Khanna goes into an in-depth interview with Cheeseball Man. In this interview, we get to see Cheeseball Man a lot more up close and personal. Aside from the physical traits such as the pearl necklace, bracelets, and microphone that we've seen in previous clips, we actually get to learn a little more about Cheeseball Man and how it resembles Anthpo. Throughout the interview, he talks a lot about life. Not just his life, but life in general. More importantly, his life. Cheeseball Man has mentioned things such as meeting a lot of his closest friends on online lobbies over a decade ago, as well as a trip to Japan and how it changed his life. Certain things that Anthpo's mentioned prior to quitting YouTube and after quitting YouTube. But the dead giveaway had to have been one of his best friends, Hanbon, who appears in the video about 9 minutes in. For context, Hanbon is actually one of Anthpo's closest friends, who appears in most of his videos, especially through the college series. After hearing most of the details from the interview and a meeting with an old friend, I figured that Cheeseball Man had to be Anthpo. But if you don't believe me, wait till May 14th. Trust me.